Let's begin with Tyreek Hill talking about the quarterback he traded for Patrick Mahomes. He gets to a talk by Loa. Here's Hill's thoughts on his new QB. Well, Tua is one of the most accurate quarterbacks in the NFL, man. So just his ball placement, you know, getting us the ball in space, you know, perfect placement, you know, and us just utilizing our speed, you know, um, utilizing our best asset, you know, and that's just being dangerous. He already understands what it's going to be in Miami. It's not going to be run down the field and have the ball meet him 60 yards later. It's going to be get the ball in space and then turn on the Jets. So it's going to be more running after the catch, less running before the catch. And when you choose Miami, I mean, they, they know they know the drill. They know the routine. Ty, uh, there's a fundamental difference between Tua and Patrick Mahomes. There's a fundamental difference between most quarterbacks and Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes can get the ball to any blade of grass on the field, so the defense must defend every blade of grass on the field. Tua is going to get it in the hands of Jalen Waddle or Tyree Kill or Raheem Mostert or Chase Edmonds or whoever, and then they're going to – take off with it and Hill as good as any now or ever with taking that ball and disappearing if you give him any opening underneath in the backfield wherever you get the ball in his hands I don't think that there is a player that's going to go into 2022 under more pressure than Tua because they've now given him some of the best weapons in the NFL And if you can't get it done with these weapons, with this offensive line, which they've done a great job of rebuilding, with this head coach who has shown that he's a really good offensive coordinator and knows how to call plays, if he can't get it done this year, then they're going to be back probably in the trade market, Mike, in the offseason looking for a new quarterback or back in the trade market in the draft looking for a new quarterback because he's going to be under immense pressure to get it done. You have to win with this group of receivers, this group of running backs, and with this offensive line. There are no excuses anymore for Tua. Yeah, and that is the key. You know, you could look at it as they're doing everything they can to boost Tua, or you can look at it as they're eliminating every excuse for Tua. It's the No Excuses Tour 2022, and Tua, if he stinks, is going to be gone because he can't say, I didn't have the blocking. They went out and got Teron Armstead. He can't say I didn't have running backs. They went out and got Raheem Mostert and Chase Edmonds. Can't say I didn't have receiver. He's the best receiver the Dolphins have had since the Marx Brothers, yeah. Clayton and Duper in the 80s. Yeah. And if they can't get it done with them, they got to go find a Dan Marino next year, Shireen. Yeah, Mike, and, and I'll say this, you know, there aren't many trades that work out to be win-wins. And I would argue that the Stefan Diggs is one of the trade from Minnesota to Buffalo is one of those rare ones where we go, hey, both teams won in this. And the reason that both teams won obviously was because the Vikings drafted Justin Jefferson and didn't miss a beat. So I would argue that was a win-win. This to me has the potential to be a lose-lose. And it all depends on how Tua plays and it depends on how, who the Chiefs draft. But I think that Tyreek Hill is going to miss Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs, and I think the Chiefs and Patrick Mahomes are going to miss Tyreek Hill. This has the potential to be a lose-lose type trade or a draw, Mike, and not be a win for either team. It can be a win-win for the Chiefs, though, if they find a really fast guy in the draft who develops quickly. And there are so many great receivers coming out every year. One of the things we said after the scouting combine with all those guys running four threes, hey, bad news for the veteran receivers because you got young, cheap guys coming in. And from the Chiefs' perspective, I just think we haven't heard the whole, heard the whole story. I know of at least one team that did its due diligence on Tyree Kill and said a little bit too much of a diva for our liking, a little too much of a problem for the Chiefs recently. Not off field, just locker room entitlement big money wanted really really big money and he got really really big money there was a team out out there that was willing to do it but it could be a lose-lose it could be a win-win we don't know that's part of the fun of this we have no idea how hill is going to be incorporated into the dolphins and we have no idea what the chiefs are going to do moving forward but hi i'm mike tarico and thanks for watching make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from nbc sports